There we go. I think we are. Get slide, please. Let me check. There we are. We're going live. We are. Hello, Hello. loves. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, you. <laughs> Hello, me. Hello, me. Hello, you. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell we have an I Love You Me expert in the house. Uh, welcome, everybody. Self Love Talks Mwah. coming to you live from Spain. I know. I'm on holiday with this beautiful woman, um, amazing human in, in many respects, many loving, wonderful relationship connections we have. And Mary is, so this is Mary, Mary Catherine, McKenna, Pathak, light being, channel, <laughs> <laughs> psychic, I love you Mia, quantum healer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, general, powerful person. And so uh, we don't actually know what we were going to talk about. We've been thinking about it since last night when I asked Mary to come on uh, and, and do a self-love talk. So we don't really know, do we? No plan. We had lots of thoughts and lots of ideas. Um, I mean, we could talk about light bodies, birthing into it. We could talk about channeling. We could talk about cosmic galactic stuff. We could talk about, I mean, just about anything. Yeah. Um, what do you want to hear about? What do you want to hear about tonight on our self love talks? Thank you for joining us. Wonderful to have you live. Can you hear the kids splashing around outside in the swimming pool? It's 28 degrees here and it's absolutely lush. Thanks for joining us. Say hi. Let me know where you are in the world and what the weather's like. <laughs> it's, uh, I've been on the beach actually. That's why I'm being a bit messy. I, uh, I haven't tidied up. I'm still salty from from uh, snorkeling today with Mary, which was incredible. <sighs> Just generally, yeah, I mean, talk about how to give yourself love is have a holiday and lie on the beach. Rejuvenation. I know. We were just saying it was bliss, like absolute bliss to be able to do that. Yeah. Tell everyone what we saw when we were snorkeling, by the way. Fishes? No, not <laughs> fishes. Fishes! 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 So fishes! It's a fishes! No. Um, so yeah, we're talking like the crystalline. I was telling Tara that, um, have you seen your crystals yet in your skin? Have you looked? And you were like, no, not yet. Um, so under the water, you'll see it kind of sparkle mm. more. So right now, everybody, you know, that's going through these changes and everything, you'll start to notice little. They're not adolescent changes, but they <laughs> kind of are. <laughs> or hormonal changes. Um, but these kind of light body changes, this crystalline body as we're all changing into that. So if you go out into the sun, wash and dry your hands or go like we did under the water and it'll look like you've put highlighter makeup on your skin. If you just roll the hands over and back, mm -hmm. you'll see the sparkles. And it's just like a proof, I think, proof the crystalline body visible. is- Visible. It's visible Evidence. proof. Yeah, absolutely. No, so, it was true. It was like, yeah. it's like one of those things, you know, do you remember those um, 3D pictures that came out and you just see a pattern and then you have to stare at it a certain way and then you see a dinosaur or a landscape or whatever it yeah. was. Do you remember those? Yeah. I was rubbish at those. Yeah. So it's a little bit like that at first. It was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then it was like, oh, there's one. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, and there's one. And there's one. And there's one. It's a little bit like the fishes in the sea, actually. It is. Yeah. It's like, there's fishy, there's a fishy. Oh my God, there's loads. You know, and suddenly there's a big shoal there. It was exactly like that. It's like a soft gaze. Yeah. Like your eyes go soft and you start to see it. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like just loads of little sparkles everywhere. Sparkles. It's like, I am sparkling. Yeah. It's exciting. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so actually, this is a really good thing, Mary, because people out there, I don't know, let us know if you know what we're talking about. And if, uh, if you're interested in your light body or learning about what your light body is or activating your light body, because that's quite relevant, isn't it? It we is. We talk a lot about that. Yeah. Yep. It was uh, one of the things I, when I did um, around two, three, four weeks ago now, a light language week long course. At the end of the week, we had a lot of activations and I was like, now everybody go outside and check. And it was something I was invited everybody to play with. Let's rewind a minute. What's light language for everybody who doesn't know what light language is? So light language is 
universal language of love. It's a soul language. Um, there are many variations of light language. It's essentially a frequency, a tone, a sound. It can be movement of the hands. It's like coding coming through mm -hmm. either the voice or the body through dance or through the hands and symbols. Yeah. And essentially it's your connection to your inner source energy. It's the connection of source itself coming through you or even Gaia coming through you. It can be all and everything. Yeah. It's not specific. Everybody has at least one mother tongue. And essentially how it comes out is just with you playing with it, maybe listening to mm -hmm. others speaking it. And it's kind of like you re-remember. So um, that's a little bit about light language. So yeah, it's a beautiful, uh, I really enjoy it. It's beautiful. Do you know what? I'm, do you mind if I ask you to do a little bit of light language? If it happens, oh. okay. If you get, if you get called. <laughs> I will, I will actually. Will you? Do you know what? I have a little light language deck and I might pull one for the group with the intention of everybody watching or oh, that will watch. Totally do that. Yeah, okay, here we go. They're all over there, I moved them out. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm over, go over. <laughs> <laughs> I was helping. The lady like. <laughs> here, this one. I, oh, we're drinking these amazing fun. coconuts actually as well. They're incredible. Oh, fab. All right, while well, you find that, so the first time I, I actually saw light language, this is how I know about it. And um, for me, it was a bit of a struggle to say it because I felt really shy and almost like I couldn't make my mouth do what I was hearing or seeing because I saw it to begin with. And it's, um, it's how is it? It's like the sun emits light, let's say, and in that light, there are loads and loads of codes and the codes are geometric shapes. They are solid, they're not, um, yeah, they're solids. They're not flat like we would draw in school, like an octagon or a rectangle. They are um, sacred geometric solids, lots of different kinds of shapes and patterns and groups of shapes put together. And I used to be able to see these in the light and I would see how the codes or these, uh, this language written in shape, which is super, I mean, it's universal, isn't it? Yeah. Everything's like the fractal. Everything comes from that one dot and then the, the connection and the, the whole, it, it, look, I go and look up sacred geometry. It's fascinating. But anyway, I would watch how those light codes would then interact with the consciousness of the earth, mother earth, and there was little elementals, all different kinds of elementals, just like there's lots of different kinds of angels and lots of different kinds of humans and lots of different kinds of animals. There's lots of different kinds of elementals and they all have specific jobs and roles in creation. And they're basically part of Gaia's spirit that take these codes that receive them and uh, let's say translate them into matter and create form from the light. So the light is the information, the matter is the form, and it's how creation works. It's how the, you could say the divine masculine and the divine feminine works. It's how spirit informs our matter. So obviously imagine the sun goes down, there's no more coding, there's no more information. And we're just like, mm. after the sun goes down like little zombies, mm, no more information. It doesn't work like that because of the sun, that works with the plants and the earth. However, with us, it works with our spirit, our, F, our, our totally infinite, always there, ever-present, omnipresent spirit. Comes into the body, we breathe it in. So it, the codes are actually in the breath, they're in our words, um, and they're the code that's inside the spirit. And we take it into our body, and our body creates from it. It's amazing. We can um, plug our consciousness into this and activate it, and then become conscious co-creators. So that's, you yeah. know, working with the breath, working with sound, working with our words as keys, because words create shapes and form, which then code. So proof of this, another proof that we can see is Emasu Emoto. Um, most of you probably heard of his work, and if you haven't, go look him up. Um, he proved that when you take a drop of water and you say, I hate you to the water, and you freeze it in that moment, and you take a drop of water and say I love you to it and freeze it in that moment and you look at them under the microscope they're not the same 
The one that you said, I hate you two, has completely fragmented. Its structure has gone. There's no structure. It's just like demolished. It's just obliterated, messy. Um, it's not shining. There's no light in it. The one that you said, I love you two, has a beautiful, uniquely formed structure like a snowflake. It's absolutely beautiful, like a, like a crystal or like a diamond or something. And it shines and it's full of light. So this is the impact of our words. This is the impact of our language upon ourselves. Now, how many of you think or say out loud really bad things about yourself? Like, oh, I'm shit at this, I'm shit at that, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm too this, I'm too that, I'm too tall, I'm too skinny, I'm too whatever. How many of you have that language going on all the time? subconsciously or even you know out loud deliberately and you can ask your friends do I say bad things about myself and see what they say because you're probably not aware of quite how much you do it and if you think about what your language is doing to yourselves you probably I don't know how many of you ever considered that before what your language is doing to your cellular structure what it's doing to the water in your body <sighs> so self-love those of you that know I love you me and more conscious of your language and uh, powerful words like, well, I love you is a really powerful word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love you is like a super powerful thing you can say to somebody, very healing. Please forgive me. Um, I am, yeah, mm -hmm. that which I am. Um, mm -hmm. There's lots of really powerful words that you can say to yourself which are going to restore your cellular integrity restore your water molecule integrity, put back the form, put back that sacred geometric form back into your body and you will start to shine. Hence, shiny skin. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the sparkles. Hence the sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? What do you think of that, guys? So anyway, that was my, <clears throat> that was how I first started um, learning about light language. That was in about 2000 six seven eight somewhere around there mm. was learning about that but in only every now and again in private moments do i actually say it i always get a bit shy about it oh i know you didn't really talk about it with you much actually no but you yeah. really are amazing you're an amazing channel mary mm -hmm. anybody here seen mary before or worked with mary please make a comment below let me know <laughs> Look at this, Zesis is saying cellular structures regenerates after 90 days. Thank you. There you Zesis. go. Thank you. And you've also put some links. Thank you, darling. That's brilliant. Master Room worked out. Absolutely. Yeah. Rena, Rena's worked with me. Yeah. There I you love go. it. <laughs> I'm noticing my light body so much recently. Awesome. Yes. And you're a lady who's really activated your light language as well in the last while. Mm. Incredibly beautiful. That's epic. Mm. Who else has noticed their light body? Mm -mm. Shri, hello Hi. Shri, have you noticed your light body and Tamara? Hi Tamara. Hi gorgeouses, have you noticed your light body? Have you been using light language or saying wonderful language to yourselves <clears throat> to heal, to restore, to make yourself sparkle? Let us know what's working for you. And if you've worked with Mary, anybody who's worked with Mary before, um, put some comments below. What do you think of Mary's channeling? Mary's, <laughs> Mary's healing, Mary's, Mary's everything. Like Mary's a pretty magical person. Uh, thank you. Tara. But you're really good at doing the light language because you're incredibly used to kind of communicating and channeling and, and saying things. And I think you're just really brave as well. You do, just, you know, do you know just, what it is though? Uh, it's play. Yeah. You play with sounds, you play with the mouth, you play with just allowing the flow to cut through and you just get out of the way. Yeah. And that's what I find fun with it. I do that, I do that quite, you know, when we're mucking around and stuff all the time. My kids think I'm bonkers, but I don't kind of sit there and go, I'm going to do some night language now. Oh, whatever, I don't do it. <laughs> I just get all weird about it. I get all funny. But you do it brilliantly. <laughs> Thank you. Have we got a message? Did you, did you find the card? I did. Um, of course, the card is this, right? So this is the card. I'm wondering if you can see that. And the card says there is only light. Of course, this is the message. <laughs> let's, the look, let's just see. I'm going to check on the camera if you can see that. Yeah, hopefully I'm holding it in a space I can see. No. Let's know if you can see that. Oh my goodness. So this is 
there is only light. That is the message coming through for the group, essentially what we're talking about as well. Mm -hmm. um, the light crystalline body. What does that mean, that card? Is there more of a message? It's number 30. That's beautiful, actually. It is. You know what? That's a fantastic a talking Buddha. about. I know yeah. I can, I'm going to put it real close, see if you can see, guys. Let me know if you can see all, all right. the detailed pattern in there. Mm. That's kind of what it's like. Can you see that? Yeah, let me know. That's yeah. what it's like. It's like all these beautiful things that are written in the light. So what does that mean? What do you think that message is for everybody? So if we're looking at the card, there's a major amount of light coming from the heart space. The whole of this area is lit up in light. And this is our heart. This is the heart that holds the light. Light itself is just information unless it's anchored through the heart, right? So the heart is the most important thing here. Mm -hmm. It's the... It's what allows the light to flow from us to others, to flow through us to earth. It is the elixir that rejuvenates us. It's the oil that greases the path for us to connect and co-create. So the heart is the, the well within which the light, we want the light to land in. Mm. If the heart is closed and tied and in pain and walled up, no matter how much light comes through, it's just going to light like a sieve. It'll, it'll just flow out. It won't anchor anywhere. Mm. So for me, this message is there is only light along with when the heart is open, the heart is allowing, the heart is surrendering, the heart is receiving. Mm. And this is what Tara does, right? Breathe and receive, receive the self-love, receive of yourself. Mm. So this card is kind of just really for me, another message on what we're talking about here and yeah. all about self-love. Um, it starts with self. The heart opens through us going within. Us connecting, yeah. And connecting. It's true. And connecting with others activates us as well. Yeah. Um, and when more than one get together, like us on this talk, yeah. We're all co-creating here. It's not just Tara's energy. It's not just me. It's every single person through time and space. Light doesn't stop when there's a wall. It goes through walls. Light doesn't stop when there's another country. It goes through everything. That's true. No borders. No borders. <laughs> and on light travels information. So mm -hmm. when the heart is activated and we have love and we're sending those beautiful, like Tara used words, like I love you and thank you and X, Y, Z, whatever your words are, just something you're thinking of. So the first person I'm seeing is Zesis here. So I'm just going to go, Zesis, if we're saying like, we love you, we do. <laughs> um, that is traveling through time and space, whether you heard us or not. And I know you know this, by the way. Does your heart so, feel that, Zesis? <laughs> Can you feel it through time and space? Let's breathe it in. Let's breathe and receive. <laughs> Create that channel of love. Mm. You know what I see in this card is the um, hexagon. Yeah. So it's six sided. It's the six sided shape there of light, and it's as above, so below. So we always think of the light being up and the below being kind of dark and earthly. But anybody here know about um, bio? Hold on, what's that called? What's the. It's not permaculture, it's the other one, the farming thing. Biodiversity? No. Somebody. No. It's a kind of farming invented by Steiner. Rudolf Steiner. Basically, okay. okay. It's a, because basically, whatever that is, the way of culturing food and culture, uh, culturing in soil to grow food. And uh, Rudolf Steiner taught people how to take a cow horn of all mm. things. And I can't remember what you pack it with because this is a few years ago now, but you pack it with certain things okay. and you put it and you kind of say some prayers over it and you put it in the earth and it has the effect of emitting photonic light out to put more photon light into the soil, which creates the soil. Because basically darkness is actually made of light. That's bonkers, but it actually is because mm. every single atom has photons in it. Every single photon is a light particle. And within all of that, the smallest particles in the universe, well, actually, I don't know if it's still the known the smallest particle in the universe is an adamantine particle. It's like super, super, super small. It's pure light particles. 
then the opposing as atoms and posing as all these other molecules i'm not a scientist i don't want to get the names wrong but essentially you know that there is light in absolutely the heart of every every particle of matter it is light it just has an appearance of dark mm -hmm. and it gives us that sense of duality above below sky earth you know father mother and so this hexagram uh, hexagon is that beautiful balance of the masculine and the feminine the above and the below and bringing the light that meets in the heart center where it's completely in unity completely in harmony masculine feminine light and dark everything the unity consciousness is in the heart is absolute unconditional love not conditional i'll love you if but unconditional love and then that light when we're unconditionally loving of ourselves that light travels through the body i don't know if you can see that the light travels down through the body when we bring light and love to ourselves open our heart to within and apply it to the body your body will start to light up that's what we were talking about and that light goes into the earth just like somebody know somebody come up with that it's bio something it's here it's biodynamic Bioden okay. is it yeah, biodynamic Rick, farming Rick was saying that yeah who said it rick i think biodynamic Dynamic. farming oh, no, thank you zesus yeah. being clever he's got the information yeah it's also the sixth dimension thank you zesus you're on it you should be on the show next so yes there you go that's the card for everyone there is only light and the number 30 which is beautiful number three thank you anyway that was fun are you gonna do some light language now i will um are you feeling in, are you feeling this... in the mood there's a, a link here as well with the activation of the, the causals, the stellar gateways and, and the monad. I'm just getting the word monad coming through here. So um, these are just the other chakras, but there's a sense that we, I'm gonna invite, if anybody wants to receive this, just to breathe deeply into the body, mm -hmm. feel your feet on the ground. And as we're breathing in, we're gonna just bring that breath into the earth star chakra, which is beneath your feet. It's like just beneath your feet, okay, Not in there. Much. Yeah, it's around three, three feet kind of, three feet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna breathe and receive. And you can use your hands, connect with your body, and just allow everything to get soft and beautiful. You can sigh out any stress or tensions anybody might mm -hmm. have from the day. Just let them out. As that breath, as it tumbles down, opens everything, you'll feel your sitting space just open like a flower, soften. And bring the breath down through the feet, in through the earth, into your earth star chakra. So you're just connecting with the earth. We're going to anchor first. That's what we're here to do is to anchor. And I'm inviting in anything that wants to come through for the highest good, pure love, highest wisdom, please. Bye, Shiva, Dewa, Guru, Ampde, Iwachika, Nima, Nadu, Tutuk, Ara, Si, Chipa, Ara, Kumtuk, Iwa, Si, Nanima, Anta, Awa, Shiva, Akani, Imana, Ewa, Awa. Hanne wa sura mai ke ba sha ichi ma nan de ku wa shi de ba i ba la 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 lu tu ra si ti ti ke de ma na de ko ro ka ma shi wa ba sha wa ku ba ke and just breathe and i want you now to imagine above your head a beautiful golden pyramid you can just imagine like golden light coming through ah si wa and breathe and receive, soften. Ah, breathe. Amara, you
Y es va. No se va a ir de cama o tu el se va a dejar a mi hija Polly y los dos are family or each and every one of us to allow us to receive them. Thank you. Y como que se va. I know you shouldn't clap in front of the light language, but that was really cool. <laughs> I was taking a breath and just mm. keep breathing to bring it right down. All right, there we go. Into the body. Yeah. Into the body. Into the body. Yeah. I see if you're not sparkling. I definitely think so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. You're sparkling. Um, I found that grounding, actually, me. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Did you like that? Bit of wine. Yeah. Mm. What did you think of that? Anybody uh, want to share their experience? Anything happened there? Oh, Zisi says the sixth dimension is the dimension without time. Mm -hmm. Timeless. That's what it's like when you're in love, isn't it? You know, when you're in that yeah. space of love, time absolutely disappears. It doesn't exist. Right? So that's why Mary said, what did you say? Like the fountain of youth or something you said. You didn't say the fountain. You said something else when you were describing it before you were, when you were describing that card. Um, I guess that infinite self, the timeless self. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's no aging. Yeah. Love doesn't get old, does it? Ever. Mm -mm. How old is love? It is. <laughs> there is no age. Right? <laughs> so if you want to like stop using those crappy creams and just go in and be in love, mm -hmm. And be completely ageless and sparkle. That's pretty good. It's a good advert for the heart, isn't it? Mm. Um, Absolutely. Yes, Michelle. No, we're not in France. We are in Spain. Yes. I'm in Mary's house in Spain having a holiday. Catalonia. We're on the beach today, sunbathing. It was amazing. And we went snorkeling and saw fishes. And Paula's saying playful. Yeah. Paula, did you join in and do any light language there, lovely? Paula definitely dances in light language. Does she? Yeah, she expresses it through her body. Oh, I think Paula's a bit like a little fairy. <laughs> That's because she's, she's catching the light language and putting it into form, isn't she? That's what yeah. you're doing. Massive Paula. creative energy. I think that's what I do more as well, to be honest, rather than speaking yeah, it. Do. I feel like I dance with it. I was going to say that you do. Oh, yeah. Paula, me and you are the same fairies. <laughs> And others, you know, draw in it, um, they paint That's in true. It. People don't even realize sometimes they're painting in light language uh, or doodling. Like a lot of doodles can be light language. I saw a coloring book on your bedside table earlier like that, oh, like mandalas and things. Over there, that's some yeah. that did, the dragon there. They're all light language. And actually there's a guy, um, I haven't met him, but I met um, a really, well, she's a beautiful friend of mine actually, who works with this guy called Johnny Dar. And he's an artist and he um, uses, he basically has coloring books of light language. I didn't know that. Yeah. No way. Yeah. And they're really quite simple. Yeah. But they're, it's like everything that he's, the shapes that he's put on the page actually mean something. They're, they're, the messages language. through. Yeah. He's got loads and loads of them. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. it's called IQ Me. So it's a bit like I love you me, but it's IQ Me. Okay. It's, it's really cool. amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's becoming much more prevalent, isn't it? Everybody's kind of Everybody, waking up to their so many are, yeah. eternal languages, their light Re bodies. It's coming home. It's another version of coming home. I really remember. Yeah. Uh, it is. What do you guys think? What's going to happen so, with turning into our light bodies? I can only see the top four. I don't know why. I can only ever see the top four comments. Um, Arita says, was it a prayer you had just prayed? It was actually a soul nice being question. coming through. It was another being. Um, a being and one other flipped through, so two beings. So, uh, and I didn't check when I was doing it. So right now I'm getting told it was part of the soul family of every group that's watching because that was the intention oh, through this. Nice. So it was somebody that was on, um, I want to say an overreaching council that has a connection with every single one of you watching. There's a link in with the blue ray here as well. So these are just like energies, right? They're just energies, they're beings, they're frequencies that hold certain information and they want to help earth. They want to help us on earth because most of us 
have a link with them, right? And this, they're here to help us re-remember so that we wake up and we go, oh, there's something greater within me, more love, oh, there's a connection within me, oh, now I know why I'm here. I'm not lost anymore. Yes. Yeah, I found me. Loads of people are lost looking for themselves. Yeah, I found me and they think it's something outside, but it's, it's never is. It's always, I found me. And when we find me, we have a knowing, we have a knowing what our next step is. Um, and that's what, and that's what I feel like this, it was a feminine energy that came through at the start. Um, and she was just kind of gently saying, welcome back home. Well, welcome back, everybody. Nice to see you again. And she sent through a little frequency. This was very short. In between that, an elementum came up through. And that was, um, they came in to anchor it. They're just telling me, we came in to help anchor that. Um, they created something gentle, so it wasn't going to blast everybody as well. So this was like a gentle anchoring mm -hmm. in. So um, prayer wise, it was like, welcome back um we love you and it's time to remember come home mm. so that's kind of in, in very i don't directly translate because that brings me into my mind when it's flowing through me um so that's just a general gist of it mm. i hope uh, that, that yeah, feels human good mind, so the human consciousness is so small compared to the universal consciousness so trying to try translate that, you would miss so much anyway. You can perceive it as it is. Yeah. And one of the things with light languages, you could say one word like, um, it's kind of like I say this to some of the people that work with me, you know, the word like ciao in Italian means hello and goodbye, mm. right? It's the same. You could get a word through in light language that actually you can't form it into one thing because it means many multi-dimensional things. Yeah, depending once. on what else you put it with. Exactly. Absolutely. And the thing is, when I even say that to you, I'm bringing that information through my own filter system. So it's always going to get smaller if I translate it. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to said. keep it smaller. We no. don't want to reduce humanity anymore, do no, we? No, no. No more reducing humanity to uh, what have we reduced to? <laughs> Let's not even go there. Let's um, thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Can you? I'd love you to tell tell us more about light bodies. What do you think? What do you think is actually happening as we we're going into our light body? And um, where's it going to take us? Mm. I know it's a big question, but That's I feel like you know the answer. Two big questions in one. Mm. So. You ask, what is it first, or what do I think? Yeah, what is? what is it about your light body and what's happening? I'm going to give it short and sweet and simple. Yeah. I just keep hearing the word when we're activated, and maybe that's a word that needs explanation. But when we're activated in our light bodies, that means we're starting to remember. That means we're waking up. And what does that mean? What does it mean to wake up? It means that we're coming back into the heart. We're loving, we're at peace, we're connected. Maybe not every time, not like 100% of the time, but we're on that pathway. Mm -hmm. We're on the pathway connecting, connecting to ourselves, to source, to earth, to people around us in the frequency of love, right? So what is the light body? The light body is a naturalization of that in energy. It's a naturalization with expansion so when we say the word expansion our physical bodies are not holding us and this is what some people feel like i can't be in my body it holds me captive i want to escape yeah, i don't want to be here feel like that. it's too heavy too, too dense yeah. they don't want it it's dirty it's yeah yeah or it's in pain yeah right i can't be here but when we have come home first, right? When we are, are awakening, we're coming home, we're coming back into the body. What we're doing is we're bringing the light into the body, the body itself activates. You mentioned that already with the cells. Yeah. It's like the cells are becoming light, they're becoming crystalline. And that's that sense of some people that you see, and this is, you're one of them, right? Some people that you see, it's like there's a glow emitting from them, right? Um, and that's that light body glow. That's the auric field, right? The energy field around us. So what is it? It's energy. Um, what is energy? Energy is light as well. Mm. Um, and essentially it's just, it's kind of like the keys in the lock that you say, we're putting keys into the locks that have been closed and forgotten mm -hmm. and have been tight and in pain and shut. 
to generations and karmic times through our, you know, the DNA and through the past life stuff, we're now putting the key in and we're opening up everything, releasing pain and trauma, mm. coming home, re-remembering. I think, I don't know, if I'm going off on a tangent, that's maybe the easiest way for me to say, what is a light body? Mm. It's all of that and more. It's hard to put it into one sentence. What does it mean for you guys listening? What is your What does mm. a light body mean for you? Katrina saying love from Cork in Ireland. Thanks for being with us, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Do you guys know each other? Because um, you have a house in Cork. I don't know. I've never met Katrina in person. Right. We met online. Okay. Yeah. So I follow her. She follows me. She does. She's a beautiful soul. We've had a chat on the phone a couple of times, Katrina. Let's go to Cork and do a night. Let's go to Cork and do an event, Mary. That would be brilliant. Who wants to come to Cork? Katrina, we're coming to your house. <laughs> She'd have the get tea ready. out, wouldn't you? Get Katrina? ready. We're, We're going out dancing. I think she'd have the tea and the wine out. So. Katrina, get ready. 2021 Cork tour. We're on. We're on our way. Look, I've got to pull my top up. I can see that again. Katrina, when will this energy shift? All the lies, when will the truth come out, and, and the real agenda? Mm. <laughs> when? Well, this is. When everyone's good and ready. Yeah, again. this is a contingent on the timelines. So told you we were going to talk about timelines. This gets complicated. Katrina, <laughs> we opened the box. <laughs> timelines. We could be here for a while. Timelines. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can just fall down a little rabbit hole with timelines, though, because mm. there's so much. Uh, it's contingent on timelines, energy shifts, and what I what that what what are timelines contingent on? Everybody, like Tara said, they're contingent on the people. So what's important for us, mm. to what's, important. what's important for us is that we're anchored, we're in our love, we're in our peace, we're in our body. If we're meeting, and part of this is for our benefit, and that might seem absolutely bonkers and weird, but part of it's for our benefit because it actually works. We're having to work through our own stuff as well. We I think it's brilliant. Absolutely. How much learning have we had it's since huge, lockdown? Huge. It's been really fast, hasn't it? Exponential. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to come back to what Zisa said when he said that sixth dimension, that heart dimension is timeless. There's no time there. Mm -hmm. So in some respects, why bother about time? Mm -hmm. Because there is no time, Katrina. You know, <laughs> there is no time. However, that gets a little, that, it's like that goes to one end of the spectrum when it actually there's, there's other things to understand before you can actually... I guess get to that point and it actually makes sense or I guess we know it but we don't know it you know we can go yeah there's a timelessness but we don't mm -hmm. actually know what that means we haven't done the journey to get there so I feel like we're all on the journey to getting there to understanding the timelessness the infinite and uh, and how we dance as the finite into the infinite how we bring our humanness into the divine that's an interplay there are loads of strings and strands in the universe of their soul strings and every single string every single soul is like a strand a harmonic strand vibrating and we've all i mean it's like a huge massive multi-layered multi-dimensional tapestry of all our energies intersecting and creating realities mm. it's 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 epic i mean there's like you couldn't count them there's an infinite number of timelines and yet some of them we go, we want this timeline. We want all of those strings at the end of the day, all of those different, different soul strings and soul strands to come to a one singular point where we go, that's, we come to peace. We come to know thyself, heal thyself, love thyself, be in love, be in unison in one song with the universe, singing in absolute harmony, all of our unique soul strands, all of our unique signature and our vibration but we're all colliding in that unison, in that harmony, in peace, because we all want peace at the end of the day. We all want love, we want to be loved. And uh, so the more of us that really know that place in our heart as like, we could say it's an end destination, but there's never an end destination to life and there's never an end destination to love. Um, it's infinite, it's timeless, but we could say, that that's we know what we want we know what we long for we know why we came here is to help that timeline manifest of peace on this planet peace on earth love and love for humanity and for humanity to really come home to that that harmony 
that unison, that beautiful um, oneness of the universe that we are one with everything and conscious and, and still separate. Like we can still have separate bodies, mm -hmm. but our bodies won't be this dense because of the love. So we can all focus on that. And it's really nice that we're in separate bodies because then we can have friendships and we can giggle and we can eat chocolate together and, touch. and, and we can go swimming together <laughs> and touch and nom, 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 nom. We can have fun. But if we were yeah. like all merged back into one, then mm. we wouldn't have Mary and we wouldn't have Tara. So it's really nice to keep our separate bodies, but not in the density that we're in now. Like we're, we have to come into that enlightenment. And the timeline of this is what we all want, our truth. We want to live in a love, a, a world of love. We all want to come from our hearts. So if we focus on that, it's a timeless, it's a timeless experience and it kind of doesn't matter. That's my feeling. Yeah. In a nutshell. Um, I'm going to speak to another message. I think, I don't know, it's popped mm. off. It's gone again. But Katrina, you were saying you've got two teenagers going back to school um, and you were in peace during lockdown as many of us were. And once we're kind of going back into where our own worlds that we've created, we're now entering into other worlds that are not of our creation, you could say, but are, because they've all, they've been created by all yeah. of us. But um, what I would say there is, we've chosen in some way this particular timeline, Katrina, because there's something within us and your children and your family that we are here to experience and possibly hold. Mm. Because I know you, your whole family are, are light, right? So there's this sense of, it's not, it's not about it being easy, right? But there's a sense of how can we bring ease into that? So that filters out to others. So having the conversations with the boys about this timeline that are in, you don't have to use those words, but about explaining to them in a way that they understand about the mass, let's say, explain to them in a way that they understand about, well, how can you, how can they be in peace, even if that is the case? And when you're really anchored in, they're going to feed off that as well, even more. Um, Children just, don't have to wear masks in school, by they, the way. They do in Ireland. Do they? Mm -hmm. you're kidding. Me. Yeah, there's certain school route things, yeah. So um, it depends on the age as well of the, of the child. So of Cut course, holes in it. paint pictures <laughs> on it, slip for the mouth. <laughs> Wear the mask. <laughs> yeah. Mary, Mary took me snorkeling today. Katrina, uh, where is that oh. mask? It's brilliant. Uh, I'll, I'll post it later right, on mask. Facebook. Big scuba mask, this big pink scuba mask with a snorkely thing out the top. And I'm like, I'm going to wear this on the air, in the airport because you can still breathe through your nose and your mouth. And there ain't no COVID getting through there, yeah. <laughs> if you believe in such things. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, I took it off on the time. I'm sorry. Somehow, let's, if you have to do masks, do you? Shall we? Can we, can we stand in our authority somewhere? Can we just say yeah. no, protect our children? Do whatever it takes to protect the children. Because I personally just, it's not okay. The mental damage that's happening to the kids, we can see what it's doing to the adults, yeah. but those little ones, they don't have the words to express it in the same way that, uh, that the adults do. So protect the children at all costs, do whatever you have to do. If you think your child is being damaged, consider homeschooling, get together with your community, see who else wants to homeschool, talk to your schools, say no, get a different different way of doing it. Just do something, do something else, breathe and protect the kids. There's a ways around it. There's always a way. There's always a way around it. Um, yeah. And I'm seeing what you're saying. Why are masks mandatory? And they said it's to wake people up. Yeah. The more this happens, the more we're seeing people wake up more and more and more and more. Yeah. And your boys will pass that on to their friends. They'll wake their friends up as well. Mm. And there's this thing of where we come together more and more and more of us in the same, of the same heart, of the same mind, we're powerful. And mm. the more and more of us aligned in that same energy, that's what's going to make the timeline shift. Mm. This is you asked about, that's what the timeline shift is a sense of the bing, 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 the lights are activating in people. Yeah. And this, it is a matter of us having to breathe right now, right? <gasps> Breathe the light into Breathe. the body. Get powerful, get switched on. 
Uh-huh. Look, Arita's saying yeah. it's in uh, Mumbai as well. Thanks for watching from around wow. uh, Mumbai, Arita. Wow. That's bonkers, isn't it? It is bonkers. I thought people wore masks in Mumbai anyway for the pollution, mm-hmm. to be honest. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's it. A yeah. collective alignment and a collective voice. And yeah. that's the communities that we're going to be building more and more and more and more. Yeah. So let's see Find like-minded like souls. Lots of things are happening at once, aren't they, really? My dad used to talk about it like a spring. If you get a spring and you keep pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down, it builds up a certain amount of pressure yeah. that after so long, it just, it wants to come back to its original form. It wants to come back there. So he always said, like, the forces that want to suppress humanity and gain control over humanity, essentially because we're so powerful and amazing, why would you want to suppress and control something that didn't have any value or any power? You would, you would leave it alone, right? They only want to do that because they see us as powerful and, and valuable. Our energy is valuable. Our souls are precious. Don't sell your soul for anything. Guys, listen to your soul. My dad used to say it's like pushing down a spring. And you do that long enough to humanity and hard enough to humanity and everybody will bounce back. Mm -hmm. So it might feel like the journey of suppression has been long and people are weary and people are tired and they're like, maybe not much resistance left in you because you've been so squashed and suppressed. But I'm telling you, everybody, that can only be sustained for so long before everything just goes back up and we go enough. Yeah. Yep. Let there be love. It is. It's kind of even, I remember you telling me that analogy of Indiana. It's almost like we've been here and we've gone down. It's like the cycle. Mm. And then it's like, back that shite. <laughs> Coming back up again. How do you say that? Back that shite. Back. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, <laughs> that is the timeline. It is coming. It is coming and we all have a part in it. I feel like that's it's a I done deal. Like I know that I'm here to br- help bring more love on this planet to be love, to to share that message, and that it's a done deal. Like, I can see the result, I can see where we're going. However, it's also, that doesn't mean you can just sit back and go, ah, oh, it's all good. I mean, you can, actually you can as well, to be honest, you can. Just kind of being all like chilled, relaxed, happy, yeah. but hold that, I know that we're going okay. I know that it's good, I know it and it's true. And everything that you do, every word, every action that you say, as consciously as you can be constantly co-creating that as the reality that we all want and know is going to happen yep holding the rudder like no shadow of a doubt don't let the rudder sway you and be oh the self-doubt this way and the self-doubt that way hold that rudder of certainty you know it's like keep keep co-creating that as reality and keep spreading love and be love it's one thing saying it to someone else it's another thing being it go and do the being part the being part when that being part because that's light in our field and that meets those that are in the fear that are acquiescing that will go like they're gonna go like they're gonna go break light yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's what's happening now though they are saying i can't look at you yeah it's too bright. Let's so pull back under it. when no. we're in that, we're activating. You're actually being an activator. Hmm. So your boy's going to school. Bless them. Because they're activating the whole class. It's hard for a little school. kid, isn't it? Hard for a little kid to understand. Very hard. When me. they're looking to, because they don't, they're not validated generally. You know, why isn't anybody else like me? Why am I the different one? Yeah. However, if you keep validating your children, let them know how powerful and strong and full of light and how right they are. Let them know that they're right, that what they see, what they feel, what they're sensing is right. And make your child stronger. That will boost their immune system as well, by the way. It will boost all of their energy bodies mm-hmm. and it will boost their confidence. And then they will let them know that, you know, we're here to, to bring more light, to bring more love, to bring peace. And uh, anything that isn't, vibrating with that needs to just get with the program uh, you probably use different language with your children get with the program <laughs> tell your mates to get with the program <laughs> don't, don't say that oh, <laughs> i love that i love that we talk about children thank you 
Oh, by the way, did you see the message from Natalie saying how much she loves us? Yeah, hi, Nat. We love you too, Natalie. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, come to Katrina's Mumbai. Saying, Mary, you've got a lovely pair of coconuts. <laughs> Why didn't we think that? Ah, chin chin. <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> Anybody have any questions, actually? And Rita is saying, come to Mumbai once all this mm. relaxes. Like Katrina said, my house is open. All right, then, done deal. Let's do it. How many open houses were yet in this live? <laughs> Let's have a tour. Let's have a love tour. <laughs> Coconut tour. <laughs> We'd probably get more people if we called it a coconut <laughs> tour. Bath into your light body with coconuts. <laughs> oh, my God. Josh is 18 and Dylan is 15. We're yeah, both exam years. Oh, how cool. Tell them we love them. Mm. Your children. Guys, your kids are amazing. Absolutely. I, can I just, you know what I told you about what my client's kids said? Can I, I yes. can I share that? Mm. Um, I just had a client online, uh, did soul, a soul reading with her. She was telling me what her 14 year old daughter had said to her. She was there in the car. The mum's saying to her daughter how she feels like source is lonely and that she can feel the loneliness of source. And this woman's been really like in that longing, in that, in that, in that aloneness in that loneliness and she suddenly had this thought what if I'm feeling the loneliness of source and her daughter said source was lonely so source decided to create loads of other beings to keep it company but if the beings knew that they were source like source creates the beings but the beings go well we're still source we're still you we're just small little particles of you then it wouldn't be the same it wouldn't be It'd be like having a relationship with yourself. It would just be a bit one-sided, a bit boring. And the source would still be lonely because it's that search for the other. So all the others that source made, source had to take away their memory that they are source. So that it, they felt like they weren't source so that they could have a relationship. Does that make sense? So that source had other beings to keep it company that felt like another. 14 year old girl said that. Actually, okay. I think she said it a lot better. I don't think I did it justice. I was just like, wow. Boom. Yeah. Kids know. I know. They're proper little light beings. They're, they are so much more light in their bodies. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's because of what we as parents or the previous generations have done in that clearing, clearing, the, clearing out the, the conditioning, clearing out the ignorance, clearing out all those, you know, the karma. And, and birthing more of that light into our bodies so that then when we birth the next generation, they've got even more light in them. Also just because the, you know, the world needs them. <laughs> the DNA is they're just coming in with super switched on activated DNA. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be running the planet. I, I mean, to be honest, I think children have more wisdom, more intact with their wisdom, more intact with their genius in so many ways than uh, those of us that have been around for a lot longer and got a bit complacent and forgotten and you know got two in our heads yeah kids are the kids are the way listen to the children they are, yeah. are the leaders amazing <laughs> you're gonna build a healing sanctuary nice fabulous thank you for joining you. us do we cover everything I think so. I think you were in the middle of saying something. I think I, I changed the remember. subject and started talking about masks and children and breathing. No, that's what I, I mentioned that. Oh, was it? Kids come to school, yeah. Yeah. Because Rena brought it up. It's important. Oh, and the rest of the question, that's what it was. It's the timeline thing. Um, what's it going to do? What do you think is going to happen? Ah. As we come into our light bodies, what do you feel? Hmm. <laughs> Where are we going with that? What's the point? Mm hmm. Ha, where are we going? Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a big scene. So, where are we going? We're going into what people might term as New Earth. But that doesn't really matter what you call it because what we're going into is everything that we have ever craved and wanted. It's the unconditional. It's mm -hmm. the peace and the love and the harmony and the play and the joy 
and the co-creation. It's the one with earth, it's connectedness. That's what we're going into more and more and more. And we're coming into our wisdom with that. We're coming into our own genius. You mentioned with the kids, but mm. a lot of adults are activating their own genius. And they, they're on that path to, I mean, that's, you know, we were talking about that a lot. That's, yeah, yeah. I'm on that path. It's like, yeah. not there 100% yet, but like, that's the path. It's a journey and the journey is delicious. Mm. And it is. we forget sometimes that we're here to enjoy the freaking journey. Yeah. Uh, no matter what's happening. We're here. How can we find that joy in the journey all the time? And we we create our own time when we're in that space as well. Mm. Uh, so what's happening? That's what's happening in like two sentences. What do you feel is going to happen? Oh, that's another video. No, um, I've made <laughs> videos on it already. Um, I feel like Earth is going back home. Home. Yeah. Well, she's done a massive big loop. Things work in loops and spirals in this universe. Yeah. And she went as far away from her birthing place as she, as she could and became as far away and disconnected from her source, her creator, her love, uh, as, she, as she could to give us an experience of everything that we're not in order to realize that which we are and come home. And we know life by contrast. It's what the universe is all about, this dualistic universe. So uh, those people that really um, are big about non-dualism and it's all one, that's true, but you've got to have an experience of the dualism, otherwise it's a bit pointless. Mm. It's like you go straight to the straight to the end point, you miss the journey, you miss the gifts, you miss the beauty, you miss the relationships and the connection and the everything that's there's a whole another level of life and experience. I'll give them my, I'll give you my chocolate example. Let's say this is a cacao bean, a nice raw cacao bean straight off the tree. And you can enjoy that cacao, cacao bean as it is, pure, the sauce, chocolate. It's quite bitter though. And to make chocolate, you separate the butter, the oil, and the powder from each other. You put it through a process. And so you've got the, the chocolate powder and the butter. And they're both really great on their own, actually, as well. You can put the powder into things. You can put the butter into things and use it on your skin. It's great. But to, to when you put them back together and you melt that butter and you pour the powder in and you stir them together, you get raw chocolate, which is absolutely delicious to eat. It's not the same as the original chocolate bean. You've had an alchemy process. So we know we come from source. We know that there's a oneness. Some of us feel it very tangibly, viscerally. It's an experience. Some people, it's just the, the, it's theological, it's a philosophy. But whatever we go, yeah, we can all agree. There's a, a singular point. But then we come into duality. We have this incredible experience of light versus dark, except it's not versus. We put the verses. Mm. It's light and dark dancing together, co-creating, collaborating. The ebb and the flow, the push and the pull, the alpha, the omega, the, the spirit, the matter. It's all having a, a, an alchemical um, process. It's having a, it's, it's creating. And then from that union, that absolute union, that absolute balance of the masculine and the feminine, the light and the dark, the human and the divine, something else is born. And it's not the same as source. It's not the same as it was once before the separation. It becomes chocolate, it becomes something incredible, something new. New life. So that's what I feel we're going into when that new earth, that new life, a new consciousness of what it means to be a human being, yeah. a new evolved human being. And it's not the same as some of you I know that are, that are here. It's not the same as Atlantis. It's not the same as Lemuria. It's something new. Brand new. It's never been done before. Not been done Because before. there's never ever been a race of beings on this planet mm -hmm. in this physical density that know and be unconditional love. It's never been done. Love is seeing how dense of a form it can inhabit and become. Wow. <laughs> right? We are being a vessel for love to manifest on an even denser level. And it's dense enough so that we can touch each other. 
and hiccup and stroke each other <laughs> and eat food and delight in our senses and yeah. delight in our human bodies and co-create and co-create from a place of absolute unconditional love imagine guys imagine if you became absolute unconditional love and then you connect with another person who's also unconditional love and in fact you might even help people you'll help each other get there which is a really beautiful journey to do and bring each other home to love together being a mirror for one another and then you consciously choose to create something whether it's another person or a home or a business or an idea or birth and energy into the world from total consciousness you would be creating from the unconditional, infinite, timeless, balanced, unity, energy, and putting your own creative process into it, your own intention, your sculpture, your words, to bring something new into form. Imagine us creating a world of children like that. Magic. That's what I want to do personally. Yeah. Anybody else want to create kids that way? Yeah. consciously yeah consciously not an accident happy accident of course in the back of a car <laughs> i not that, that i didn't do that that by the way that wasn't about that wasn't a me story you're like take that back <laughs> yeah, that wasn't it that wasn't about me you're gonna have a hot chocolate for three now i'm gonna what i have hot chocolate. hot chocolate very enlightening you're welcome you're gonna make hot chocolate nice to the galactic center yeah we're going back to the galactic center we're going to go and make love with the source we're going to go back to the going to go back on the planet to where she was born in the universe and come back home but not home as we left it you know when you go on a on a journey or a holiday or a trip around the world or something you're not the same person when you get back expanded in right? you're expanded exactly more conscious more aware Mm -hmm. understanding something so mm -hmm. that's us and that's that thing with with the soul journey like you said as well where mm -hmm. as source you know if you're to say you're like this and you go through that like you know you lose a part something's in pain and suffering oh, what we're doing is we're calling it back healing it transmuting it with IWME does this right mm -hmm. brings back that anger that pain that abandonment that whatever mm -hmm. And it doesn't come back to the same hole. It actually comes back with more. Yes, it's true. It's abundance. With more of you. Mm -hmm. And that's, true. that's the amazing thing about this is what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable. But that's what's happening around the world right now. So, yeah. Ooh. Maybe our whole, our whole new earth will be bigger then. Maybe it will. Or even more multiples are birthed. <laughs> multiples of earthing of earthing oh my goodness mary now i want to find out about that okay we're not so like we've been talking for an hour we're gonna get some dinner and we go swimming dinner. in the swimming pool <laughs> love you all thank you for being with us jen mccarty hello my gorgeous one love you Hi. thanks for being here yeah i've been chatting for an hour about birthing and light bodies and timelines and children children it's all light gems. language yeah a bit of everything everything it? yeah <laughs> amalgamation we didn't know what we we're going to talk about it was a mishmash of everything and coconuts coconuts <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys we totally love you it's always a pleasure to hang out thanks for being here with us mm. go and share this video if you think it's cool and you like uh you like what we've what we've shared and you think other people would like to hear it too <laughs> And just have fun, just play, have fun. Mary's one of the funnest people I know. Yes. Thank you. So are you. I know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and have a wonderful rest of day. Yeah. Love you loads. Bye, my loves. Mwah. Mwah. I have to find how the button stops. <laughs>